Parental discretion is advised. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wrestling Mayhem Show 317. It is the Mayhemies. It is that time of year where we lay out the red carpet and nobody walks it. It's that time of year where we recognize greatness in podcasts that the hundreds and hundreds of you uh, have watched throughout the year or listened to. And, uh, and this is the night where we get a little spiffy and dress up here because it's the Mayhemies. ba 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 Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. With us, oh, you heard him over there on the couch. It's uh, Chachi. Insert coin to begin. Insert dot coin com. to begin. Dot com for all your video game needs. Exactly, exactly. Also with us is DJ Lunchbox. That's correct. That is correct. I am DJ Lunchbox, aka the Taco Man Salad, aka DJ Saucebox. But for tonight. I'm a hero, a legend. Tonight, I am playing the role of Todd Pettingill. That's right. Coliseum Home Video, you sons of bitches. Tremendous. Also with us from San Antonio, Texas, is the Russell fan. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, members of the Academy, and all you other people out there. No, this isn't me rubbing something. It's me holding up my pinky because it's a dignified evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Mayhemies, and it is time to give out some awards and celebrate all things mayhem in the year of 2011. Excellent. Also joining us on the horn right now is Hot Wheels. It's bright. What's up, folks? It's Mayhemies, and I'm here, bitches. And you know who else is... Wait a minute. Somebody's missing from this place. It's a Mad Mike. You know why? Because I ran his butt over. Because I was tired of his lip. And this year, I'm winning a Mayhemmy. There you go. And stuck in the Google Hangout is Bobby F. G. Town and Riz. How you doing out there, guys? Uh, we're stuck in the Google Hangout. Let us out. Let us out. Let us out. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Uh, so, hey, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. It's the show where we uh, get into the wrestling, the stuff we love, the stuff we dig. Uh, you can check us out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com with all the articles uh, that we write otherwise and all the past episodes and our old guests and everything like that. Uh, you can tweet us at Mayhem Show. You can follow us on Facebook, on Google+. Plus. You can join us in the Hangout if you're uh, in, if you're in our circle on the Google+. Plus. So go circle us. We'll circle you back and drop in during the show, which we do live every Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. At give live, or take. Give or take. At live.sorgatronmedia.com. Uh, join us in. Join in on the fun. If not in the hangout, in the chat room live. Like Sonic Screwjob is in there. Uh, and like everybody was on the Awesome Cats before this. Uh, and uh, Email us. You can. You can at... Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can also drop us a line at 412-206-WMS-09670. That is the hotline, so you can use your voice box and and tell the, uh, the lunch shit. box. What's use go, your what's sauce up? box. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. You can also buy the app. We got available dollar ninety nine on the Amazon App Store and the iTunes Store. Go check it out. Support the show. I, I, I know I heard from a couple people that just bought the app. Uh, thank you very much for that, and I hope you're listening to this right now. And it's got links for all that stuff and exclusive stuff that you don't get to see on the show uh, that everybody else gets to see unless you're here live with us. Or you bought the app to so check it out later on your own. Buy the app! Exactly. Uh, me, so you want to buy that app. And also, yeah. hey, Pittsburgh Comic Con will be there this weekend. Uh, selling wrestling Except DVDs, BS about wrestling with us. Stop by the booth. We're conveniently located right across from the women's bathroom in a small press area. So, uh, <laughs> so there you go. You know where we're at. I don't have to As drop you a number. Be. Look for the big Sorgatron <laughs> Media banner that's usually behind me. I left it in storage so we can take it right out and down to the Monroeville Convention Center. Uh, and look for all kinds of stuff. And we're going to try to do a live edition of the Wrestling Mayhem Show at some uh, at 3 p.m. on Saturday. Saturday, actually, and also check out our friends Comic Book Pit. Uh, they're going to be doing their edition uh, from the booth as well. 
So thanks to all those guys for the support. And come support us. Get some stickers. Yes. So let's get right into it, guys. Buy the DVDs. We, we buy the DVDs. We like store. to eat. Sorgashawmedia.com <laughs> slash store. Um, you know, you don't get the free, uh, you don't get the free McChickens. I'm sorry, Chachi. <laughs> you know they go around and they give away McDonald's at some point during the weekend? Oh, man. To the, people, the booth people? Guess we Buy the DVD yep. so I can eat some food. Wait, do we, don't, we don't have catering for this, Miami's? No, we've never had no catering, catering for this. Oh, Miami's. fuck this, then. Fuck that. Ah. Uh, yeah, well, that. we got some it's emails. Okay. It's gonna be okay. We got some emails from the Across the Pond. Chachi, take it away. First, I would just like to say that I love him. Let's see... Now you know you can you can't have a Mayhemies without me. My greetings to all of you, Lunchbox, Chachi, Mad Mike, and the Great Leader. We go way back, you new kids. You are on probation. The last show I triggered some spirited and actually very interesting discussion. I pledge to do the same with this. Teddy Long, I think this is his third time on probation, taking shit for a job. Where are the racial implications here? Cody Rhodes, will he ever reach the highs of his father? Or will this be his highlight? Ted DiBiase, can he be rehabbed? And if so, how? WWE have re-signed Brock and Lord Tenzai. As a reminder... Uh, ha- and have. And have, yeah. Sorry, I can't read. <laughs> sorry, Vim. And have reminded us of their past. But Ryback was never skipped Sheffield, and we will have to forget that all the promos for the return of British Clay were for the end of humanity and accept him as a dancing Funkasaurus. I don't have a problem with people portraying different or evolving characters, but I take extreme exception with having wasted my time wasted with pointless, willfully arrogant stories making me feel like a moron for investing in them. Brock is back to legitimize, but whose fault is it that the product isn't Looked at as legit. I remember Geraldo being slapped by a wrestler for insulting wrestling was scripted. And now, you have actors come in and be portrayed as better than actual wrestlers. Also, having a muscular musician shove down any wrestler achieves nothing except making your own talent look weak. Why do this? Who wins the Cena and Brock match? What is the point in Cena losing another feud? Why are they making him look weak? There are several new big guys in the roster. Tensai, Ryback, Brutus. What can each of them achieve? Which of the WWE champions of the last decade do you think will stack up against the best of all time? Until next time. Yes! 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 <laughs> so let's uh, let's bring it back to the first line of questioning. Oh, shit. <laughs> <clears throat> Which is, uh, who, who, who do we think is going to win Brock Cena? Uh, I, I guess this all kind of rolls together, actually. That's uh, the last line of question. What? The first yeah, line of questioning right. was, uh, what are the, where are the racial implications oh, 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 oh. for Teddy Long? Racial implications <laughs> for Teddy Long. Go, DJ Lunchbox. Uh, <laughs> the one person Uncle you should Tom. ask. <laughs> so, good reaction. Go, <laughs> Russell fan. He's from Texas. Uh, yeah. What? You don't even know who Uncle Tom is. Shut up, Wrestle fan. <laughs> and our expert it's, on the panel. I knew we had a cabin. Wow, really? What? <laughs> Did you just say the expert on the panel? I don't know. Yeah, it's because yeah. you're black. It's well, because you're black. Okay. I don't know. Well, what about Lynch? How do you feel? Okay. Are you insulted by the way he's being portrayed? Yes or no? No. Okay. Well, there, there you have it. White people do not need to be ashamed for watching this because the the token black guy on the show doesn't mind it. Your rebuttal lunchbox. <laughs> you don't know who Uncle Tom is either. So shut up, Sorg. <laughs> Jesus. Touchy, so carry on. Our wheels are running this show ourselves. Hot Wheels, what did you think of the other stuff that happened in the email? Shut up. <laughs> All of you. Uh, do you think Cody... Fucking you... white man keeping us down. Do you think Cody Rhodes can go high, will go higher, or do you think this is it? Go. He needs something else. Obviously, from the That's not the question. Point. The question is, do you think he will go higher, or is this it? I think it's just the start. I mean, this is this was this was like a pretty good high for him. 
Um, he'll he'll cool down for a bit, and they'll they'll bring up something else. I mean, I could see him. So you're saying the Big Show passed the torch? Is that what you're saying? I think I think that's what's happened to Cody Rhodes. To Cody Rhodes. Really? Sure. Really? Yeah. What do you got a problem with that? I don't. Okay. Just well, playing. I, well, just playing the tough guy. What about you? Question what do you be? What do you think about person. Cody Rhodes and his uh, progress? I love Cody Rhodes. He will be an Intercontinental Champion for life. Mm. He will never reach any higher than that. Okay, so you think he's going to be like Mr. Perfect status? Mr. Perfect status, but here's Mr. Perfect. Here's Mm. Cody Rhodes. Oh, okay, okay. I I I think he has potential to go a little higher than that, though. The only only bad thing about that is the Intercontinental title doesn't mean as much now as it did then. Uh, but don't yep, you kind of think that he, he I, did bring like it? Differential. Don't you think he did bring it back a little bit though? No, no, not really. I thought it was I thought it was pretty good. He, he, he brought it back in the sense of he brought the old belt back. Well, but yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the only thing yeah. he ever did. Intercontinental champion uh, at WrestleMania. True, true, true. What do you guys in the hangout think of Cody Rhodes? I like Cody Rhodes. He's awesome. Moving on. I, I do miss the uh, mask, though. the Doctor Doom gimmick. That wasn't the question. Did. It kind of, I'm kind of <laughs> iffy on the whole thing, but I really do like Cody Rhodes as a, as an athlete, and I think yeah. he is going to be like a close to Mister Perfect, but mm. like Lunchbox said, he's not going near Mister Perfect. I, I I think we're going to see him if not the champion. I think we're going to see him up there fighting for the belt. You know, yeah, I, especially I, I, if there's a lot of injuries. <laughs> there you go. So there you go. Edge to fill that slot anymore. Exactly. Next question, Chachi. DiBiase Jr. Can he be rehabbed? And yeah. if so, how is he done? He needs. Do you think you're? Do you think he's done? He Go. Needs, yeah, he needs a reset, man. I, I don't think he's done. Um, I don't think he will be done because he's a DiBiase, unless he does something mm. really, really stupid. Well, didn't they get rid of Brett? Did they? I think they did. I think they did. Yeah. Really? Okay. But DiBiase's. Yeah, he never made it. Um. Then DiBiase. Maybe also can't make it as a face. Okay, it's that's that simple. Okay, he can't. He he doesn't put him he, as a heel, and he doesn't he doesn't have the personality his dad did. No, I mean but he's got the he's got the physical tools, but he's not. He, he, yeah, he's just missing that personality. Yeah, you think, I, think, I, do, I do agree. You need to make him a heel because he, I think he'll fit much better in that position. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, he, even even the stuff when he was doing like when he was doing stuff with like Maurice and stuff like that when he was emulating that whole you know being a million dollar kid thing it was it was interesting and it was something different mm-hmm. him being the Dibiase posse and fucking you yeah, know doing stupid. whatever it's not entertaining. No, I no I, you know what I think he can make that work though. I think he can turn this whole Dibiase posse if they turn him into like a good old thing um, that's either face or heel, like Jamie Noble, but worth something. <laughs> I, think, I think he could make it work. Imagine if Hank Williams Jr. was a wrestler. I think they could make that work for him. <laughs> wow, that'd be interesting. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hey, well, I think he's done. You think he's done? Yeah. Okay. I don't think he's got anything. No? No. He had evolution. Honestly, or he I, had, uh, I, I kind of agree with Chachi. I mean, he had legacy, if that's he's it. not really pulling it up there in a company, it's like, all right, just send them to TNA land where they can just use the damn name like crazy. Mm-hmm. I wish they will. Because I mean, you, you have to you have to look back and take a look at the whole history here. Orton gave him a chance. Mm-hmm. Like he they, he was provided an opportunity, standing behind Orton. Well, that that that's, that's a grooming position, though. That that really is. right. He was yeah. and, and, and he, he was and he groomed by well. one of the best heels. Mm-hmm. Okay. He was genetic. He was genetic. <laughs> Honestly, genetic. I see what Chachi's talking about. And if you look at it, he didn't evolve. Yeah, I was well enough. Say, Orton basically played the Triple H to when they did the Evolution, and Randy pushed past it, and boom, Randy tried to do that with Ted, and it just didn't happen. Well, yeah. no, the yeah. the way I see it is a little differently. I mean, you look at Ted DiBiase did excel under legacy just like cody rhodes did the thing is it got to a point where it it was almost a sense of like well this legacy thing's over we kind of don't have anything for you cody rhodes got lucky and fell on a gem of doing the whole face mask thing because he legitimately broke it or did he legitimately injure his face well even before that the dashing thing was tremendous 
Mm-hmm. I mean, it was over the top. It was developing character. Um, and and it and it and again, it evolved. It evolved into the mask thing and back into a dashing character with a little bit more confidence. You know, right. uh, that wears a cape at WrestleMania, and that and I, and I <laughs> love that. Cape. Love I mean, the, the cape. he he like he found the hook and he developed from there. Right. And 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 DiBiase yeah. had the rich boy thing. Then they turn on face, and he's he's trying to pull Zack Ryder with this DiBiase posse. But he's missing the thing. No one, no one else is going to be Zack Ryder. No, but they need everybody, to stop trying to be. But everybody's going to try, and you know that everybody's but, going to try to be the next Zack Ryder. Nope. Here's my thing, though. These guys have huge, huge shadows mm-hmm. hanging mm-hmm. over them. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else. No, no. I mean, <laughs> these guys, <laughs> these guys <laughs> come from families that. Expect them to exceed in this. Okay. So one of the hardest parts of what they're trying to do is get out of that shadow. Yeah. Yeah. This generation doesn't give a shit about DiBiase coming from a rich background. We, do you think? Do you think the whole like million dollar belt? Uh, yes. The, it's, the, the it DiBiase, was a, It, it was, was the a, death was, of him. It was the death nail. Right yes. It, it is the death of him. It, that was the nail in the coffin. He's got nothing. Mm-hmm. Unless... I mean, they brought back Virgil. Yeah. Just for yeah. him. Yeah. If they're bringing back Virgil to try to make this work... They made it a novelty. I don't think it, it's it, it that. I think the problem was they weren't Why do you always long- argue with me? I'm, well, I'm just saying. <laughs> they, they, weren't, they weren't looking long-term with it. Mm-hmm. Like, with the whole thing. Like... He had a, he had a really good feud with like gold dust over the whole thing, but then it's yeah, like, yeah. well, what do you do now? The problem is they don't look long term, you know. And, and, and if that's the case, DiBiase's never going to rise to be you know something special. And it, it's partly the creative department. I mean, yeah, it, it's their it's their job to not fuck this up. <laughs> but it's also his job. Yeah, to not fuck it, this it's up. his job to make it so people love it. Yeah. Oh yeah. The creative the, the, department was grasping for straws when they made him fight Gold Dust. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. Yeah, in a way, but and, but the, I actually like the Gold Dust feud a little bit. But the thing is, they think a month in advance, two months in advance. They don't think beyond that. You That's know, they, because they're it, hoping that the wrestler is good enough to push what they're giving him. Yeah. Well, yeah. because then, it's the wrestler's job to make it evolve into something that they can work work in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, well, that's, I mean, that's where it, you think about it, Russell fan. Just just the way Chachi said that is think about Daniel Bryan heel, and all of a sudden he just starts cheering for himself. Yes, what the hell just went over? Yes, yeah, it took a while. It took a while. That's the thing because everything, it, it, you know, all the great stuff. Did, weren't we annoyed as fuck about all the great stuff that ended up growing on us? The woo woo woo, <laughs> the yes yes yes. The the what gimmick, you know. I, mean, I was never annoyed by the yes, Vicky, yes, yes. Vicky Guerrero as a whole, yeah. you know. Well, the thing was, with Vicky, really and the with Vicky with Guerrero, that is. but my dick was never annoyed with Vicky Guerrero. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The, the, the thing with that is Vicky Guerrero is a heel. The actions that she was doing is making everyone hate her. Yes. With Daniel Bryan, they're cheering Daniel Bryan. They're getting behind Daniel Bryan. Hmm. But that's not what WWE wants. That's because you can't hate Daniel Bryan. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can't. WWE wants that's, us to hate Daniel that's Bryan. like hating Randy Orton. You can't hate Randy Orton. No, uh, but they want us to hate Daniel Bryan yeah. so bad because if you watch Raw uh, compared to watching SmackDown, they censor <laughs> all the yes chants. Now, uh, wait, wait, we got some. What's going on in the hangout there? What do you guys think? I'm not censoring. I disagree with Chachi's statement. You can't ha- hate Randy Orton. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, yeah. no, I, uh, it's not my they favorite. Are, they okay. are saying the yes chance, and they're filling in booze when Daniel Bryan, you know, is mean to AJ. When you can tell in the crowd that they're cheering their heads off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Listen, there's a difference between uh, them chanting yes for everything, and WWE censoring when they shouldn't be chanting yes. Okay. Listen, if Daniel Bryan's is being mean to AJ and the crowd is cheering yes, it kind of makes sense for them to censor it. Well, 
Mm. That's fine, but that just shows what WWE has in mind. They don't want, you know, you know, they'll say, oh, this is what you guys want. No, no. WWE is covering their asses because they don't want to get sued when a male is mistreating a female, you know, dumbass. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. I think I'm kind of with Chachi on this because that, that turns into... Like yeah, a very anti-woman thing. Hey, you know uh, what? Yeah. Somebody's I mean, running for a congresswoman again. Well, listen, no, no, I mean, listen. Gonna... You go, to, you go to West Newton and stand <laughs> ringside, afraid for your life because the guy in the ring is threatening to beat his girlfriend. All right. Mm-hmm. You you stand there and listen to these rednecks go crazy and threaten to <laughs> jump in the ring. There is nothing stopping these assholes from jumping in the ring. Somebody so needs some guardrails. Right of passage. <laughs> what, what you're saying <laughs> is that WWE is rails. trying to cover themselves from making other people look at wrestling fans and see, oh no, my god, no, they're no, absolutely no, insane. No, they're stealing a wife beater or a girlfriend beater. I, and no, I don't think it's even as extended as that. I, yes, I think the Linda thing is a consideration for something like that. No, I don't think they're covering that. I, I think they're they are trying to guide what they want to happen here. Exactly. And, I mean, like, what what happened? Happens when you get somebody that's a heel and everybody starts cheering them. It's like, oh, good. You're, I mean, like what, Brian, what Daniel Bryan did. You know, like, oh, you guys are cheering me. You guys, you guys are cheering me. No, you're freaking mocking me. You know, and, and they're trying to. Uh, I think they'll try for a few weeks to to pipe over the the, the yes chance to booze and, and, and see if that happens. But if it becomes too strong, they're going to acknowledge it and move on with it and maybe right. make a decision from there. But they it should. Happens. My thing is, they should acknowledge it. They should get on the bandwagon. They should move on. They're probably, Zach, no, right, no, they no, made no, him a no, fucking no, t-shirt. No, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's sell down. Let's sell down, guys. The, no, 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 no. The, 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 the point is, is a lot of. No, guys, the, the point noises. is that there's <laughs> that they're trying to produce a TV show and a storyline. They're trying to make that come to fruition. Okay, that's fine. Maybe but after the next pay per view, after know. they complete the storyline, they'll go to something else. That'll be uh, the man. The man from Lunchbox Town uh, Lunchbox has Town. has a comment. I just I just want to point out, friend of the show. Um, oh my God! Not Albert. Albert. Al, not Albert of the River. Armando Estrada. What? Who's? Oh fuck! Armando I'm sorry. Estrada. In front of the show, had the steak. Armando the steak Estrada. Armando, Armando that's Estrada. it. That's it. I said it Remember? like five times. I, I, my fucking! I, I can't hear you. Okay. You, you um, he, when he would give his gimmick, give his spiel, and the crowd would play along with it. Remember, he told us that they told him to stop doing it because he was supposed to be a bad guy, and the crowd exactly. loved him. Exactly. And Randy Orton, when he used to do his little pose like this. Uh, and he was supposed to be a bad guy. People started cheering him, so he stopped doing it. That's mm-hmm. Kennedy is a part prime example too. Yeah, yeah. I get, like, I get. WWE trying to build. It, a, he ooh. did it like he did it with pause and like. Well, like that's like The Rock too. Mm-hmm. When he used to do his thing, he used to pause so people would not do it with him. It's not yeah. sing along with The Rock. Exactly, yep. exactly. <laughs> and, 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 and you know, sometimes it works. Some, sometimes it doesn't. They're going to roll with it. Let's see where they roll with it. You know, they did. They did that. Okay, they, WWE did that. They're piping stuff in. That's fine. You know, remember the Goldberg chance? I, th- this happens. Remember every episode of TNA? This this <laughs> happens, compare guys. compare it to TNA. No, but still, it's somebody trying <laughs> like to that, produce like a that's show. That's the way you should be doing And things. they have the opportunity to do that, so they're going to. They're like, ah, I don't really... This, this this comes off really weird on TV when they're all chanting yes to, to you know, presume, you know, a really bad relationship here. You know, I, I mean, know. maybe maybe we should do something about that. We got three days to take care of this. Let's do that. And, and that's fine. Well, let's see if they continue doing it, if that keeps proceeding. And to go back and comment on your bandwagon comment. No, Russell fan. You're, oh, oh, you're looking yeah. at me. I'm looking at you because I can't see him. Look at him. I can't Hi. see him. The computer's in the way. Okay. Anyhow, they're on the bandwagon, or else they wouldn't have made a fucking t shirt. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, great, a t shirt. Yeah, oh, great, a t shirt. Yeah. He already yeah, has a t shirt. That motherfucker's getting paid now. Yeah. Exactly. You, you <laughs> can't tell me. That t-shirt. You no, can't tell me. That is a victory. Yeah. Well, like you, you didn't have a t shirt before then. Why do you hate everything? I don't hate everything. You do. <laughs> Shut up. Most things. All right, moving on, moving on. We got it. We got oh, more questions here. Down. Shut the fuck up, all right? We're moving on. I'm angry. John Cena. Who wins John the Cena-Brock match? What is the point in Cena losing another field? Go. 
<sighs> and why are they making him look look weak? You know, I had there was a great I retweeted. Uh, I don't know if it was on my account or mayhem. Uh, yeah. I, I'll be with you guys in a second. <laughs> Justin Labar had a, a, a he's been uh, writing over. I think it's the Bleacher Report. And uh, his basic thing was, okay, now everybody's complaining Casino looks weak. You can't have it both ways, wrestling fans. Yeah. Uh, because uh-huh. everybody, I mean, we're all crazy about Super Cena. Oh, Super Cena just, just no selling to beat, a, beat them again. you know. And now it's like, oh, he's getting beat down. He's looking weak. He just lost to Rock. He's probably going to get by Cena. He got busted in the mouth. Guys, they got to hit Rock Bottom at some point. <laughs> right? It makes for compelling uh, bottom, television. Hulk Hogan got plastered by Brock Lesnar. Hulk Hogan, uh, you know, lost the belt in unceremonious fashion, and then and then didn't win it at, at uh, WrestleMania four. Uh, you know, I, the Hulk Hogan got a weird screw job uh, against Yokozuna at the King of the Ring to lose the belt the other time. I mean, and that's the ultimate super you know heavyweight guy in the long run. So. Yeah, I, th- I think it's fine. I, it's fine if somebody comes in and beats up Cena. His legitimacy is a little weird, though. My question is, mm-hmm. how many little kids cried last night after Monday Night Raw? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's what there I want to know. My bigger concern is that anytime John Cena doesn't have the title, he becomes still the main event. What does that mean for your titles? Exactly. Exactly. That's where I have the problem with it. I understand. Welcome why to things... last week's discussion. Yeah. John Cena. John Cena is his exactly. own title. I, that's yeah, exactly. The oh. title of John Cena. Welcome it's to... his own streak. You know. Welcome to the world where wrestling titles mean nothing. I mean, but that's it. I mean, well, as it is, you have everything mixed up, but you have two world titles. I mean, uh, it's it's just well, you have two weird. shows. It's weird. You you, have... but you don't. I know. You the, have general, a show and a half. the general wrestling fan doesn't know that. <laughs> yeah, they're just like they. Yeah, there's a belt. That's important, right? Yeah, right. That means something. You know, it's shiny yeah. because you haven't seen it defended for three months. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Anyways, I think I think with with John Cena, they're trying to build something interesting. Mm-hmm. I, I I hope I, this is me being optimistic, which is not an all the time thing for me in WWE, but. Um, I think, okay, so John Cena loses to The Rock. That was it. That was the end of it. He fucking lost to The Rock. Now here comes Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar's going to, he beats the shit out of John Cena every single week. Yeah. John Cena can't catch a break. He's going to go to the pay per view. He's going to lose to Brock. What's going to happen after that? Who knows? Someone else is going to come in and beat the fuck out of John Cena. And after, I don't know, a year, maybe a year and a half of John Cena constantly getting his ass kicked, he's going to make a change. He's going to say something is wrong with me, and it's losing adds depth to a character. Uh, That's why Superman isn't a very interesting character in comics, because he can do whatever. He's fucking almost invincible. That's why he's way less interesting than Batman, because Batman's just a dude who gets his ass kicked all the time. (laughs) John Cena is trying to transition from Superman, not to Batman, because that's a little too dark, but to something (laughs) a little more vulnerable. That's my idea, anyway. That makes sense. Like, that's, that's, like I can't believe you just applied the Batman Superman thing to this. That, 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 <laughs> it makes complete sense. It does. So I, I just don't think it's going to take a year. I think after he loses to Brock Lesnar in Extreme Roles, he's just going to go. Okay. Turn, he's just going to turn heel. Hmm. Or he's yeah, gonna I was just going to say, else, is maybe. this where maybe this is? He's finally going to embrace the hate and yeah. Turn WWE heel. figured out how to make John Cena heel, and that's all there is to yeah, it. You can't just do it after. Something happens, right. you know. You, you have to. It has to be a build and a breaking point if he gets to that point, or it turns into something. You know, when he does, you know, he gets beat up for several months, and then something happens, and he's faces maybe Brock again or whoever else comes in and comes back, yeah. and it's a he's, huge thing again. It's yeah. not like oh, he won again. It's like all right, he finally won again, and look what he's doing now. You know, I mean, it just hit him till he's interesting. Hey, he, <laughs> last night he lost. <laughs> Hang out, Albert. Yeah, exactly. Uh, clean to Albert. Fuck he lost. Yes. He lost clean to the guy that's been around for three weeks. Mm-hmm. That's uh, that, that's saying something. There. He shaved his back, and he <laughs> shaved everything. He's you know, it's he tattooed. It's it's crazy. Yeah, WWE has been like, doing a good job of like do, making newer talent, not not necessarily younger talent, but just newer talent. Something the that's funny, fresh. The funny thing is, all right, everyone else on Twitter. Mm-hmm. 
is following their character. Okay? Mm hmm. Except for Albert. Is Albert on Twitter? Yes. Really? It's uh, Lord Tensai WWE or WWE Lord Tensai. Like, I realize he has to acknowledge the fans. But, yeah, I mean, does he? Yeah, he does. Mm. Well, I mean, he's supposed to if he's on Twitter. I mean, it's a pretty good gray area. You but know? Uh, he's sitting there just answering questions. Like, uh, someone asked him if, they would, if he would tattoo them. Because apparently he used to do tattoos. <laughs> and he's like, sorry, bro, I don't do that anymore. Okay, when I look up WWE Lord Tensai, it's a... It's the egg, like the norm, like the default picture of Twitter. I don't think that's right. And it says, "I decide to face Brodus Clay on Raw if John Loring Loring Nate lets me." It's WWE underscore Lord underscore Tensa. Yeah, yeah. What's with the all the underscores, people? Because so many people use the fake ones and they take them up. If it got that bad, yeah. Yeah, the baby. Oh, I remember the Sean Michaels. Remember Sean Michaels, the uh, the uh, Sean Michaels underscore account, because it was that bad with them. I mean, it, it is, you know, and people are going to jump on us. It's just like domain squat squatting. So it's unfortunate, but um, yeah, yeah, he's like retweeting people. He's uh, he's conversing, and I mean, that's fine. That's fine. Now, I don't know if it, Umaga was on Twitter it would be probably a little bit weird. You manga. <laughs> you manga. But I don't know. You, at, at least Daniel Wankership is an ass. <laughs> at least it's someone knows. <laughs> Put their Twitter wait, 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 page wait. back up. What, what's up? Uh, Daniel Wankenship <laughs> says you are the best that have ever stepped in the ring. A lie. <laughs> that is a lie. Have you read? <laughs> have you ever? Have you ever gone in during like Raw and and followed like the hashtag Raw? No, I'm it is the afraid. most scary drivel you have ever seen. This is the general <laughs> wrestling fan. I don't have these are many this brain is the mass left. of people that are watching. I don't have many brain cells <laughs> left. I do not want to lose them reading the mindless shit that people send out to hashtag Raw on Monday nights. I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. Hashtag raw domestic violence is a rite of passage. <laughs> <laughs> Put that out there. Let's see what happens. Maybe we'll get on a, a raw the day after. <laughs> wow. You never know. We'll, we'll you never, never get on raw the day after. Only Riz gets that pretty much. <laughs> hey, I got on there once. Did you? Yeah. I did too. Awesome. Yes. Riz. That's what we said, Riz. Pay attention. He's in the, he's in the Google <laughs> Hangout. It's being weird. Um, and we got one more question. Yes. For, uh, one more who, question. Which WWE champion of this recent generation do you think will hold up as the champion of the decade? You, you, wait, you, you, skipped, you, you skipped one. No, I didn't. Oh, the big guys won. Fuck the big guys. Oh, which of the new champions of the last decade do you think <laughs> stack up on. against the best of all time? Robbie. Ed, edge. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wrestle fan. Yeah, I'll say Edge. I, I, can't, I really can't think of any others. Wheels? Punk. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, no. It'll be a little bit, but he could. Hey. He could. He could be the next Edge. No, I, I think... No, Edge Edge has... <laughs> pardon the pun. Uh, but Edge has the Edge in this, uh, <laughs> in this question. No, I said pardon it. Edge has the Edge. Edge has the head. It has the Edge in this because he had to retire soon. Okay. Like, quickly. Okay. He retired quickly. Before he could go horribly wrong? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where guys like Kurt Angle and Sting have have not... Yeah, right. That's respond. why they're not being uh, considered he, for any he of this. Will, he will be remembered as a champion before the other people who were champion in that decade will be remembered. He's true. People, people will say Edge as the champion of the decade before they even consider saying John Cena or... Yeah, Miz yeah. or anyone else who held the belt in the last Cena, ten years. Cena was like the Hulk Hogan of the decade. That's for sure. Like easy. Yeah, you know. But he mm -hmm. wasn't like the one that everybody's like, ah, he's the best champion. Like this is the first decade where we had competition for best champion. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, what? Like, who would you say was the champion of the nineties? Brett. Rock. Michaels. And even that's later nineties. Yeah. You know, Stone Cold. I mean, I think there's, there could be some really good arguments amongst people for Rock and Stone Cold. Right. Yeah, but um, but I think this is one where you had Cena, you had Edge, you had Jericho, you had 
uh, uh, well, Michaels had a little bit, but uh, Triple H, there's going to be Triple H fans because right. Triple H really dominated the entire the entire time. It, it's it, it's one of those things that anyone will argue. Exactly. Fanboys yeah, yeah. will fist fight over this argument for exactly. years to come. Exactly. Um, I wouldn't call them fist fights, Joshy. <laughs> and I had another question about slap fight, slap fight, slap fight. Ah! Uh, no, there was a question in there about uh, several big guys. Uh, what can each of them achieve? What any big yeah. guy achieves? They're they're gonna do something. They're gonna be a threat for whoever is the champion, and then they're gonna fall into relative Unless obscurity, it's Greg like Great Khali. But- it's, uh, especially it's, the fact that apparently a certain uh, big guy will be appearing uh, on SmackDown this week. Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Close. If Santa Claus was from Switzerland. What, big wait, 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 what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, he's coming back from the dead. What? No, what? Big what big are you talking about? Claudio Castagnoli. Oh. oh. Hey. 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 Nice, nice. Ludwig Borga. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, thanks, Vim. You. I would love to see him again. <laughs> since we, since we uh, just heard from Vim. Yes. I would just like to state, before we forget to talk about Raw this week, that the overseas crowds are the greatest. Yeah. The greatest, it. the chance, and the interaction last night with the crowd during the matches, by far some of the best interaction I heard. I, I gotta say, uh, I, I had a similar thought uh, watching the lockdown pay per view on Sunday night. I wish that pay per view was where they had the overseas impacts, because those were devastating in comparison to what that pay per view was <laughs> in crowd reaction. Unfortunately, um, but at least it wasn't Orlando. Right. Yeah. I know. Yeah, the <laughs> interaction right. with the crowd with Santino was awesome. Mm-hmm. With the mm-hmm. shirt and everything. Yeah. That was beautiful. Well, he was... Yeah, Jerry Lawler. We didn't do fucking research to know all those fucking soccer teams. Because <laughs> you totally knew who the script. fuck they were like an hour before the show. Yeah, it was a it's script. It's a script. Yeah, there, yeah it was a, a horribly obvious script. Manchester United. Oh <laughs> my! I'm supposed to be excited. No way! All right, it's guys, right it's that team. time. It's that time for amateur falling down. It's that time for the indie minute this week in indie wrestle indie fan. Indie minute Yo. this week. This Fit indie family. minute is actually going to be pretty short from the fact that we got a lot That's going on. Said. No, it isn't. I got some stuff. You got stuff? Yeah, I'll check your notes. <laughs> check my. Uh, I will be checking those notes. Well, first. The first thing I want to talk about is the stuff that I went to this weekend. It was very awesome stuff. There will be a report of sorts on WrestlingMayhemShow.com, but I don't want it, so I won't go into complete detail. But uh, River City Wrestling had their 10th year anniversary show, which was really awesome. Um, there was birthday cake had. I got to be a lumberjack with a strap in a match. It was some really good <laughs> Where's stuff. Where's that picture at? There is some pic- – it, it, it may be on my Facebook. I have no idea. Um, but it was awesome stuff. you got to go check them out. Um they announced at the event that uh, Homicide will be re- uh, returning to River City Wrestling in July to um, ch- um, to uh, team with Hernandez in a reuniting of the LAX um, to uh, take on the Headhunters. And you know, fans bring the weapons match, which that's going to be very, very exciting. And um, it's going to it's going to be awesome stuff. Uh, so go check them out at RiverCityWrestling.net. Their next event is May fifth at the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. Uh, so uh, go check them out. And see what they're all about. And then the next night, I went to Austin, Texas to go to Anarchy Championship Wrestling's Peace, Love, and Anarchy. It was an amazing event. Got to see a lot of great people there, everyone that I met there. Um, as we see the footage there of some some of the craziness, uh, there was a new setup at the Mohawk in Austin, Texas. And uh, let's just say the wrestlers uh, used it to their full advantage. Um, the DVD should be coming out. Um, look, look out for it on smartmarkvideo.com. It should be really great stuff. I'm going to mention this now because I'm yes I am going to be cheap here and I'm going to plug someone, but um, I talked uh, a guy who I met at, or who I talked to at both of the shows. Um, we on the rest of Mayhem show we love reading, uh, either what? or we love books whether it's in the audio form like you can get on Audible.com that we mentioned before or stuff like Monster Haiku which has a lot a lot of pictures which helps me a lot. Um, <laughs> I'm glad you said it. Hey, bravo, look at that. Sir, bravo. Um, 
local local author and uh, wrestling fan in Texas area, Bowie Ibarra. Um, awesome guy, really awesome guy. He gave me a copy of his uh, latest horror uh, novel entitled Big Cat. Um, I will definitely be giving it a read and hopefully uh, doing a review sometime soon. You can get one of these books themselves. Uh, he does uh, everything from horror to zombies to every all that great stuff, including in a book that he's going to come out with soon uh, entitled Pit Fighters, which is a wrestling MMA-based book. Um, if you want to get a copy of that book and also check out his blog where he talks everything zombies, horror, and professional wrestling, uh, go to zombiebloodfights.com. Uh, go check him out, Bowie Barra. Uh, his newest book, Big Cat, you can go order it on his website. Definitely check him out and go support the guy because he's a really awesome dude. Um, so next here on the Indie Minute, um, as we see the website right there, next here on the Indie Minute, I believe there is stuff in the notes about um, River, uh, Renegade Wrestling Alliance. What? Oh, yes. What? Yes, there is. You skipped one. I wasn't ready <laughs> for that. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't ready for that one. But uh, we can do that one, too. Uh, yeah, there is a show this weekend. Uh, we'll be there like we talked about on the pre-show here. Uh, Spring Fling 4. Uh, your usual cast of characters here. Uh, Joseph Brooks, Jimmy Nuts, who had a pretty pretty good good uh, ladder match last month. Ryan Edmonds, uh, Ryan Mitchell. We're at the Battle of the Ryans. I didn't realize. Okay. Cal McGrath, Shane Taylor. We know that uh, Russ, uh, Lunchbox is a big fan of here. And Kato. Yeah, um, I love Shane so Taylor. Go check, uh, so what's, what's new? And, of course, DVDs will be available after the show. Uh, as it's usual, Kato it's and Calvin McGrath versus Shane Taylor and his the left mystery. thigh. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you have anything? Shane want- Taylor doesn't need a partner. Do you have anything you want to say about, about that, Wheels? Bill tag himself. Bill? I totally agree with Chachi. He is a tag team in his own right. That sounds, oh, right. That sounds dirty. Okay. <laughs> uh, Shane but, Taylor will but no, I had a, himself. I had a, the random opportunity to attend uh, uh, Pro Wrestling Rampage in Erie. Well, the, the tech, it, it runs the Erie area, but it was in Gerard, PA. Um, they, Gerard. They, they had three really, really good matches. They had Billy Gunn there. Uh, he took on local uh, uh, Rocky Reynolds. And uh, they had Jerry Lynn, you know, again on his, his uh, you know, last year tour against Omega Aaron Draven. Uh, some may remember him. He tagged with uh, Kevin Nash at PWO's Rush, Rush, uh, crap. Rush, uh, Resolution. Crap. Resolution. It slipped, it slipped my mind. I'm sorry. How did Chachi know? Wow. You go, Chachi. Hold on. But uh, but it was a tremendous match with them. Uh, Billy Gunn was actually pretty cool, um, and there was a great TLC match uh, between uh, Fabulous John McChesney, friend of the show, uh, big favorite up there in Erie in his hometown, and uh, Bill Collier, who I know has been around here in IWC. He was in RWA a little bit a few years ago, if I'm not mistaken. There, wheels we know we were yep, talking it was about last year. Well, yeah, a couple years ago. Yeah, it, it, when I gotta say it, it, it was um it was and I, and I I tweeted that night. I, there was a bunch of pictures there on my Twitter account and Instagrams and such. Um, there was there was two people I had uh, low or no opinion of before the show uh, that I earned a lot of respect for, and that would be Billy Gunn and uh, uh, Bill Collier. Um, of course, I knew you know Fab has always been McChesney has always been really awesome down here in IWC. Anywhere else, I I, I get a chance to see him on DVD. And uh, see him in his hometown was was pretty cool and a pretty big match. And, and, and it'll be, um, I believe this will be on DVD. If you're in Ohio, you may have an opportunity on television to see it in the near future. Um, that's all I really know at this point. Uh, but go check that out. If uh, you know, I know some people that go up the area every once in a while uh, or from the area, go go check them out at uh, rampagewrestling.com. And, uh, and and those guys were great up there. Really, really uh, cool uh, promotion to hang, hang out with and, uh, and 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 talk with some really cool guys up there. So I uh, just want to give them a shout out. So there you go. Um, with that, uh, we're going to go check out what is coming up. Hey, wait, hold on. Also, Russell fan. <laughs> wait, wait, does Lunchbox has something? Hold on, Russell fan. Fit Finley. Fit Finley. Can you fucking believe this shit? All right, I uh, I was reading a review. I think it was a Dragon's Gate or uh, some some. I think some it, I think it was a ball. review, and uh, the main event was Fit Finley versus Sammy Callahan. Holy and crap! From all accounts, Fit Finley is fucking amazing. <laughs> WWE, uh, he's not 
I guess, operating under the restrictions anymore. And he just fucking does what he wants. And his matches are incredible. He's working the indie circuit. Fit fucking Finley. That's right. The goddamn tall leprechaun. Go and <laughs> seek his shit out. You'll be I, be- I've actually, I, I actually believe he'll be wrestling Roderick Strong soon in Ring of Honor. So mm-hmm. Yeah, Maybe that's going to be incredible. He will drag an amazing match out of Roderick Strong because he's fit fucking Finley. <laughs> <laughs> Former WCW hardcore champion. Yeah. Also, also. <laughs> no, that's the best reaction. Also, this Friday night uh, in Johnstown, their pro wrestling right. return uh, of Manchild and uh, all the other teams and people. <laughs> all the other gangsters and who all the other yeah, except and, for uh, Manchild. It's, I, I'm hopefully, I'm hopefully going to make it to the show. I don't know if I will or not. But I'm trying to find the we'll poster, see. but it's buried on our on our uh, on our uh, Facebook group. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm trying to find it. Uh, nope, I can't find it. Uh, but it's in Johnstown. Uh, it's at the Masonic Temple. Thank in you. Johnstown, PA doors open at six. Uh, bell time at six forty-five. It's that it, yeah. There's there's temples around here, dude. I don't know how you do it in <laughs> Texas, but there's some, they actually have other religions around here. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's Johnstown. <laughs> what they. Had, they're everywhere, dude. Um, you've yeah, been to Pennsylvania fun. lately? Come on. All right. Oh, there. there hey, is. Russell what, fan. What? Russell fan. Russell fan. Yes, John G. That was a terrible indie minute. You suck. Back to uh, you, Sword. Uh, All right, with that, let's go check out Gordon. We'll be right back. She's moved. That's right. I bet he is the Ham Show, where we talk about Shane Taylor's ding ding. <laughs> Wait a minute. This went to the wrestling account. <laughs> Well, you said what the fuck, and I'm like, dibs. I call dibs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So what we got? We got Sorgatron. We got Chachi. I said I'm watching a hockey game. She's like, I'm bored. So I'm like, I'm playing Price is Right slots. Ready for the fucking reason? Well, I'll die. Get these bottles. I'm the fourth star. Howdy, Wrestling Mayhem Show. It's Mad Mike here once again with your Minute of Mayhem. And as you can see, I have dressed in proper attire for the Slammies, unlike I'm sure anyone else on the show tonight, because I treat this award show with dignity and respect. Now, to address my critics from last week, um, motherfuckers, you were the one who gave me the nickname Mad Mike, simply because you kept confusing me with Mac. You kept saying Mad Mac, Mad Mike, and then Mac eventually left and the nickname stuck with me. I'm not necessarily a mad person by nature, but that was your choice, not mine. Anyway, about the uh, tag team conversation you were having last week, I think the tag team division in WWE is not that bad per se. They just need, I'd say, four very important people. Two of them are in Florida right now. That would be the Kings of Wrestling, Claudio Casagnoli and and Chris Hero otherwise known as Cassius Ono and Antonio Cesaro. I think they could come in and really elevate guys like the Usos, Primo and Epico. Hell, you could even have uh, Hunico and Camacho. They could team up. Uh, You could have Swagger and Ziggler, obviously. And, you know, I think you could really, if you bring in the Kings of Wrestling, have them come in as a team and have them try to be dominant and, you know, do the whole thing, kind of like what Cody Rhodes was doing. Have them say they want to bring legitimacy back to the to the tag team division. But the other two people that you need... Sorry, the house phone's ringing. The other two people that you need for an impressive tag team division is a team of writers. That's all you need? You don't even need the Kings of Wrestling. You need people on the WWE creative staff to actually make people want to care about the tag team division. That's all you really need. You need people to write stories for the tag teams. Like, Show Miz. Show Miz or Jarrah Show. Those teams were great. And it was two main eventers just teaming up because why the fuck not? And you had DX at the time too. They actually had a tag team feud. And the feud was great. And that's all you needed was the two teams. And you even had the Straight Edge Society in there. You had, um, there were other teams in there too, but... All you really need is writers. Writers for the tag team division. That's all you really need. 
Well, this has been the minute of mayhem this week. So, take care. Spike your hair, bitches. And a preemptive thank you to all of you who voted for Mad Mike for the Mayhemi, because a vote for Mad Mike is a vote for pretty tall ladies and English doctors. Peace, bitches. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. That was Mad Mike's Minute of Mayhem. Well dressed mayhem. Addressing a tag well team divisions. Uh, there were some interesting disagreements, but I, I think I think that pretty much goes without saying. I, everybody said their piece last week. I don't think we really need to go further into that. Oh, I should uh, take my hat off. You should take your hat off? Oh, because what time is it, Chachi? Vader time? No. It's time for the Mayhemis, bitches! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, and now we tan it over. We're all dressed. We're all ready for it. Uh, there we go, looking good. So let's uh, let, let's yeah. toss it over to the master of ceremonies, the 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 Academy himself, uh, Mister Wrestlefan. My Star Fox <laughs> pin is crooked. I am the Academy. <laughs> I fixed it. Um, okay, it ladies and gentlemen, it is the illustrious 2011 Mayhemi Awards. We're gonna start things off. With a, a one of them highly contested awards every year, and that's Listen, the award. Listen, you don't you don't start. I, if you're just in case you're going to start with host of the year, <laughs> no, you don't do that. That's the last one. That's the the, the best picture. That is. You can save that for the end after okay. Billy that, that, by the way, wrinkling your sack to everyone for a while. That, that's I, the. I, I, I was not talking about host of the year. Host of the year is Did like. Did you not learn enough anything from Ernst and Young? What? <laughs> host, of the, host of the year is like actor first. of the year or actress of the year. It's it's the last one you do. No, okay. I know. So you got lowest on the totem pole <laughs> first. Actually, Sorg told me to not do that one last, but we're starting with contributor. That's okay. We 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 yeah. can't. We can switch that up. That's fine. Okay, here we go. Um, so contributor of the year. It's for the people that you know give their all into sending things into the mayhem show, being part of the community, being part of everything that is mayhem. Your nominees for this year's uh, awards was... Roll the footage. Oh. Roll the, roll no, the we footage. We have no we package have for emails. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. We have, <sighs> first of all, Shane Amazing, a.k.a. The Wolf. Emails. Very, <laughs> very, very picturesque emails, uh, always accompanied with some sort of media yes. and pictures yes. and, and audio. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. We have... Last yes. year's winner, Big yeah. Freaky. Really, he won Mayors. last year. Wait, yeah, he, he won, he won, last, won year. last year. He did contribute. Yeah, a lot. he won. He won last he, year. He won on sheer volume last he year. He won last year because Riz was really angry over the fact that he won last Who year. Who was he running against? <laughs> Riz, apparently, because Riz wasn't on the show yet. Just Riz? No, 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 no there were other people. Me, for the, in the uh, usual Freaky. suspects. Yeah. A lot wow, of other people. Field. The next nominee it must have been a lackluster year. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic screw job. Ah, uh, awesome. he's been great. He's been, his emails have been great. <laughs> yes, he, he no, no he, he they've been awesome. Highly yeah, entertaining emails. Exactly. All, every time he sends an email. Yes. Yep. Very good. Uh, Matt Carlin's Mayor time. There you go. You know he came in late. He did. He, he came did. in late, and he's he's already on the list. He is. That, that so is I mean that shows. That shows the, the type of emails that the guy sends in. Definitely. Not to mention his interactions in the chat room. Yeah, exactly. So. And on Twitters and everything, so exactly. Yeah, contributor means in the sense of, like, full contribution, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and finally, Pierre Kelly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. A.K.A. No. Mr. Tech would, <laughs> would drive. <laughs> Buzzing. <laughs> Buzzing. Okay, so this was a very hot contested award. Literally one vote. <laughs> one vote. One vote. One vote. Oh, one no, vote. no, not one vote. One vote separated the. One the one <laughs> there was only one vote. <laughs> <laughs> only one person bothered to vote. Are you are you doing uh, the top three or are you just doing the winner? Well, I'm just noting how close it was. Okay. It, one vote separated the first place winner and the second place winner, so it was okay, a very got, hotly contested uh, award. Okay. Your winner. But contributor of the year for 2011 is Sonic Screwjob. Yes, yeah, Sonic! Woo! Speech from the chat. 
Speech yeah. from the chat. Speech, 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 speech. Now we have to wait for the chat to catch up because it's on a delay. Which I, which I may, which I will know, followed very tape. closely, very closely behind by uh, Shane Amazing. Excellent. Oh, uh, deserve it. Deserve it. Well Definitely. done. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, so we'll wait for the video to catch up to get his acceptance speech. Phil. In the chat room. Phil. 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 Dance. Phil. Dance. Phil. Dance. Phil. Mm. Taco man salad. There he goes. Yeah, there he chance. goes. Taco man salad. <laughs> Taco man salad. This is DJ Sauce Taco man salad dance. <laughs> and that may be the best really moment of 2011. <laughs> yes. Bam. Yeah, it looks weird. Really weird. Wow. <laughs> the, uh, the lag on the video <laughs> on that made it look amazing. Uh-huh. Amazing. Hey, you can see my Star Fox pin. <laughs> as we're Star waiting, Fox as we're waiting to, for him to make I got, me. I got this for playing Star Fox at the New York Comic Con. Nice. <laughs> Just like I have, I have a Zelda one for playing The Legend of Zelda at the New York Comic Con. Chachi, are you bringing a gnome Saturday? That's Chachi's mocking J pin. What's that? He's bringing a mocking J theme. Oh. All right, let's move over to the next one, and hopefully by then the chat has caught up. Hopefully by then we'll catch up. The next category. The next category we're talking about is most memorable moment. Now we did. It was very wide open. We did not. I I have. There was no guidance on that. Speaking of wide open. (laughs) Oh, your butthole. (laughs) (laughs) Your butthole. No, I'm not kidding. That was that was one that was one of the best best moments of the year. I know. Because yeah. a friend of mine, a friend of mine, uh, <laughs> put it in there. Yeah, a friend of yours. <laughs> put it in there. <laughs> I, I got it now. I, I know why. <laughs> All right. Anyways, another good moment from 2011. Uh, another good moment from 2012. Now, um, <laughs> so winner. You're a winner. Well, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. I want to. Can we? Do we have like runners up on this? Runners up. Well, there was a lot about me. <laughs> yeah, there was. <laughs> a lot about me. Uh, okay. Chachi making me piss my pants. Chachi making me shit myself. <laughs> um, there was some of me being in their life, which that was nice. Thank you. Uh, I, me yeah. making you cry. Making me cry. Okay. Which I mean, I can't put out a specific time, so it's not necessarily a moment. <laughs> Yeah, I just happen to make you cry all the time. <laughs> exactly. It's always a, of, a winner. There was a lot, my, my personal favorite was the one time that we did that thing with the thing. <laughs> oh, I did, that, I did that one too. <laughs> I love it. Maybe we should have. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, but the, all, the overwhelming with, with me, uh, so many votes came in for the most memorable moment of the year. Our tribute to TNA Wrestling with our Yay. rendition of Sarah McLaughlin's uh, Arms of an Angel. Wrestlers have to work at like uh. a sunglass hut and stuff like that. But when they're on the mission on their Facebook Wait. page, they also have to work at Hooters. <laughs> yes. Oh, at, they, they also yes. have to sell their van. What? Down, Down by, by the river. 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 Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tara is selling her van. Uh, nice oh, hat, no. oh. Oh. What's on your head? What the hell, Riz? <laughs> <laughs> is that a Hulk Hogan hey, wrestling buddy? Hulk Hogan wrestling buddy. That's amazing. That's a wrestling, wrestling buddy. That's amazing. My buddy. And now it's a hat. My but no, Miss Test Mike Mocker, also, case. also known as uh, Brooke Adams of the Hooters of Kirby, uh, there's a uh, uh, 100 girls, you pick the winner kind of thing. Uh, so the Impact Facebook I saw today uh, had her listed to say, hey, Impact fans, go vote for her. So uh, there you go. Go go vote for her so she can win $10,000 because she's not getting paid, obviously, at TNA. Wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> so can we adopt wait. her? I mean, and so, you know, being, you know, hearing, hearing guys we know, like, getting, can, say, can we adopt her? Yes, that's what yes. he said. This is a new project. <laughs> wait, we'll play it up. There you go. Hey, that's enough. For just Copyright. a small donation, even you can help these wrestlers. <laughs> Please call 
one eight six six help TNA. Help save a wrestler in need. Even you. Please, please send us your money today and help feed one of these poor wrestlers. Okay, so and the question is: so, Is anybody singing along with that live with the video? Because oh I couldn't God. tell. <laughs> okay, so uh, we were enjoying our pre-show meals, our pre-shows yeah. meal, and I, I told Sorg that in the event that I don't win at Mayhemi, I was going to claim that because okay. I pr- I was pretty sure that I had started that entire thing, and it turns out that it was now? actually a team effort. It was a team effort. Come it on, was it months. was a complete team yeah. effort, and I couldn't job, guys. I couldn't rightfully take that. Good job, team. Because Bobby Bobby said, "Can we adopt her?" Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lunchbox started singing, and then I started the doing the voiceover. <laughs> at which point, everyone else started singing. <laughs> so that was a complete team it effort. It was. I think that was like one of the first shows I was on too. It might have been. I think, I think so. it was. I think so. So, I mean, nice job, guys. Nice job. Excellent, excellent round. That was, that was really yeah. Yes, yes. All that right. Was so that was weird. definitely my favorite moment. Yes, yes. That was the that was the highlight of 2011. <laughs> <laughs> um, and next up, uh, what we got here, Russell fan? Uh, next up, I'm going to go to a little, uh, very important award. Uh, for best supporting host of the Wrestling Mayhem show, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which is you know a highly contested award as well. Even you're supporting, but I mean that's the thing. Your support, you're helping the Mayhem show go. In a sense, I don't know why I'm doing shit with my arms. Um, but here, what are am I your supposed nominees. to do with my hands? That's what a good <laughs> host does. Gesture wildly. For best supporting host <laughs> for the year comment? 2011. We have AJ, a.k.a. Not here. Bo Diggity! <laughs> a.k.a. Ow. not here. Not a citizen yeah. of Pittsburgh anymore, either. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. true. Uh, Bobby <laughs> F. J-Town. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were going to me next. <laughs> what the hell? We have Hot Wheels. Oh, did you go in alphabetical order? Okay. Hey. <laughs> wow, that actually, cool. actually, it is an alphabetical order, but not intentionally. <laughs> and the Riz. Just give me my word. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> uh, I, I just want to go ahead and state that yeah. when or not, you guys are crucial to the show being what the show is. Well, thank you. Thank you, Chachi. Aww. So... Go ahead. Round of applause. Yes, round of applause for regardless, you guys. Regardless. That made my heart all melt. Regardless. Oh. Shut up, Russell fan. No. <laughs> <laughs> like I'll say, amazing guys. Not to stir up any trouble. But in a landslide. Landslide? In a landslide. Oh, really? Landslide. Really? landslide. Your winner for best supporting host. None other than Bo Diggity. Bullshit. No, <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, He's AJ not here. Uh, AJ isn't available to call so in. I, I will accept his award. No, no, I got it. Um, he <laughs> wasn't. Dibs. He I wasn't available dibs. for a call, so he's in North Carolina preparing for a new job situ- situation. So uh, we did get a comment from him, and it says. <laughs> I am the greatest of all time. The purest form of amazing. Fuck you, Wrestle Fan. Bo Diggity! That zoomed right when you said Bo Diggity. <laughs> that was awesome. Excellent, excellent, excellent. What do we have next, Mr. Wrestle Fan? The next, well, because we'll, we will save the best for last. So the next, but the another really great one is for interview of the year. We had tons of really amazing, amazing, amazing interviews this year, and everyone got a good share of the votes. It came really, really close in this one. Right, I'm hoping uh, the uh, midget one. <laughs> we didn't have a midget. <laughs> no, that was the year before. Oh, that one that moment. Like, remember? That was like two years before. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> But he uh, and some of the some of the people that made a good impact and were uh, runners up 
where Andrew Lazarczyk of uh, Wildcat Belch, which is a really awesome interview. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, uh, what like, <laughs> uh, Johnny Gargano, who was the winner last year, for the that's right. We had him on to give his uh, his speech. <laughs> Definitely, and a big one uh, was Dave Lagana, who uh, now you know getting the mayhem bump, going to TNA wrestling. So hey, and making that? it better. But your winner with a good amount of the votes. I think that's nine nine votes. I hate this stuff. K Fame, K Fame, Ernst and Young. Nine thousand votes with nine million votes. Former IWC Heavyweight Champion, delicious Jimmy DeMarco. That's right, Yay. and Jimmy uh, not able to be here, of course. There, there's a little clip from his uh, interview on two two seventy three. Look at those muscles. Episode two seventy three. <laughs> I but, just want to suck on him. <clears throat> He did. Suck his muscles. He did text us a uh, oh. a a a. <laughs> Wow. A uh, acceptance speech of sorts. Uh, I want you guys to help me out when, when it's deemed appropriate here. Um, <clears throat> I love the Mayhem Show! All things are possible <laughs> through Sorgatron Media. Pens and seven. Sex. 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 The, the, there you go. There you go. From Mr. Jimmy DeMarco. That is phenomenal. All things are, K are possible through Sorgatron Media. That should be your company's fucking catchphrase. Ending, <laughs> ending with the sex chant. Yes. Do you uh, want to? Uh, I pelvic so hard. I, my video. Stopped. That was that was interesting. Yeah, up there. There was a lot going on in that shot. Okay, so uh, yeah, you guys want to talk about lockdown before yes, we do the? Yes, let's talk one? about lockdown and before forget we, about the mayhem. Nope, before we do the important one. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're all dressed up with nowhere to go but Wrestle Fan. Wrestle Fan. Okay. It's, okay, it's the time we have all been waiting for. Some people more than have, others. People have campaigned. Some much more than others. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of there was a lot of backstabbing, a lot of hatred, but it's all for I, I would just like to point out that AG and I did no hating. We ran we what? ran a pure no, we said not oh, one bad shit. word to any of the other candidates except for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't count barely. No, you don't. You're your your fetus, therefore <laughs> uh, you, you don't have feelings. But we Aww. didn't we didn't insult lunchbox. Someone's gonna erase the ballots. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't insult lunchbox. We didn't insult oh, sword. There's, there's, there's a weird stream of votes anything. that have been coming in. What's that? I, what, the, what is this? Oh, never mind. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll call it down the middle. Yeah, your Cheat. nominees. You cheating fuck. Unlike last her year, best host of the year. Yes. Sorgatron. Yay. Taco man salad, DJ. Yeah! Taco! <laughs> the man on the couch who hates uh, young people, Chachi. You can just hand yeah. me my award now, bitch. Who hates young people? He doesn't hate young people. You Get know. off my lawn! <laughs> <laughs> the Russell fan. Boo! Boo! Meh. <laughs> and Mad Mike. Uh, yeah. I am indifferent. indifferent. <laughs> <laughs> and here it is. The winner. All time, Chris. 2011. Bazinga. Rip it, Romney. Yeah, bitches. What? What? Eat it. Eat it. My dick! Your mouth! <laughs> yes! Is that your acceptance speech? Why don't, can yeah, I, I, was, I was gonna get up and do a bunch of yesing, but the camera wouldn't have been able to follow me. No, so. no, no. There's only two of us here. Yes! 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 Where's yes. my where's my statue? Where's my statue? Where's my statue? Woo! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh jeez! All right, maybe the jumping yes, isn't yes, such a good idea. Yes, yes, he's, yes, he's, he's yes, guessing. Yes, he's, 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 yes, uh, what? yes, 
Yes! 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 What are you doing? Woo! Yes! Moment, moment of the year next yes. year. Yes. Yeah. Yes. This, this is the moment, yes. of, moment of the year yes. next year. Woo. Put that down! Now. Yes! Why are you in the bathroom? Why are you on that exercise bike? What? I didn't even know that hole was there. Yes! Yes! What? Yes! Oh, I'm already voting. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. There was a miscount. Where were you? I'm sorry. I mean, uh, I, I, I'm very thankful for this award this year. And, uh, I want to thank everyone. I want to thank everyone for voting for me. And let me just also note, a close runner-up for this award was none other than the, than, the, than the host with the most, Sorgatron. What? Really? Yes. Yeah, I voted for you. Right. <laughs> I voted for him, too. I, I'm I not kidding. I did. Win. Wow, I, I didn't say anything the entire Chelsea. time. <laughs> wow. But, and, but wow. so it was, it, was a great, it was a great race. Uh, you know, everyone did well. I will say, say that everybody that's in this show right now did not come in last. <laughs> Wait, would you say it was an amazing wow. race? Or is it uh, uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, just put that out there. So All right. That, that, my friends. Thank you. Thank you, Wrestle Fan. Bay uh, Hemi's Award. Uh, I'm taking my jacket uh, off because the tie is balls in here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you, thank you, Wrestle Fan, for that. Uh, great administration as always. With that, thank God we only do this once a year. Thank God. <laughs> yes. What Jesus? Yes. No, we need to do this next no, month we too. Don't. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Mayhemy of the month. Club? I want. I want to win or, another uh, award. What would we? <laughs> Uh, Listen. We uh, used to give out uh, uh, contributor of the year or contributor of the week award. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We did. Yeah, fan we did. of the week. Yeah, that was. I, uh, it. Maybe we should that bring it back. Huh? This is the second time I've won a Mayhemi. Is it? Yeah. I won one. Two oh yeah, because we gave you that one mm -hmm. before. Yeah, it I was won. An it was an honor to be nominated. Uh, I, what, what was it called? Yep. Did we give you? Hey. L Wait, we're we're it was the Lifetime Achievement Award. Oh, did we give you a Lifetime Achievement Award? I won a Lifetime Achievement Award <laughs> two years ago. Does that mean you should be yeah. dead by now? No. no. The Beastie Boys have won like six Lifetime okay. Achievement <laughs> Awards <laughs> and still release albums. So That's Good true. Point. That's true. All right. With that, uh, let's what, get what, back. Bobby? What's that, Bob? Huh? Huh? What? Oh, huh? I, I said I was pulling for lunchtime. Or l lunchtime. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. We should have teamed up. Actually, I was pulling for all of us, and we all are been. winners. Hey, you know what? Yeah. We you know what? I voted for the winners. winners. You, you guys, voting is you guys, under review because WrestleFan can't actually count, and he's oh, he, he's, he's, he's too <laughs> stupid to read, and and he he fucked up the entire voting system, and the website was down half the time, and and the entire thing is under review, and it's all questionable. <laughs> but we're all winners. We're all winners here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Fun Nobody's fun. upset. All right? Nobody's upset. Everything's fine. It's fine on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, even though WrestleFan ruins everything. That's what it's all right. It's, it's gonna be fun. It's everything's gonna be fun. Russell, Let's thank you, count the potato. Here's a question: If I <laughs> couldn't go count, over there and give you a and I, if box. I couldn't count and was just going off instinct, why would I give the chachi? Whoa! Whoa. Hey, hey, you know what? I hate no, the no, little, no, I hate no, the little fetus, but he has a point. Call <laughs> <laughs> me a little fetus. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I hate to say this, but I'm gonna have to agree with him. Because if the little shit can't count, <laughs> and he randomly picked a winner, why the fuck would he pick me? <laughs> Just That's true. I'm game. kidding. I'm, I'm of course, kidding. It's fantastic. The rest of the fans did a great job. Seriously. I won, bitches! <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now, yeah, now let, let's get back to the show. <laughs> Thank Lock you, down. fantastic Miami's. All right, uh, if you know, uh, we 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 uh, emanate from Pittsburgh. Most of us here on the show are uh, roundabouts from Pittsburgh. Uh, and 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 there was an interesting game that turned into WrestleMania last Sunday. Um, <laughs> but one thing that was revealed, Jeez, now that was ECW, motherfucker. It was a little bit. I was very excited when I went to my first Pens game a few weeks ago, thanks to Chachi here, uh, and see this Mulkamania video. That's pretty uh -oh. cool. 
whenever old. whenever he scores, right? You know, so there 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 you go. Uh, it's I mean, that's, that's cool. It's it's Hulk Hogan Traitor. and everything. Uh, but apparently, and we all heard it on NBC, he Ugh. did one for the Flyers. Ugh. That's because Hulk Hogan. 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 And I don't I even say in your prayers and eat your vitamins. But I got one thing to say. What you gonna do when Flyers Mania runs wild on you? Once wow. again, Hulk Hogan kills my childhood. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Of course, you know, in Pittsburgh, everybody's twitting. Uh, Hulk Hogan's an asshole. I wish, I wish we could cut Philadelphia off of Pennsylvania and shove it into the ocean <laughs> with Hulk Hogan as the pilot of Philadelphia and just, no, I just float wanna, away. I want to grab Philadelphia. I agree with you, Bobby. I want to grab Philadelphia. No offense to some of the Philadelphians that I like. Just yeah, there's stuff. Turn that zombie sideways and stick it straight most, up. Most fast. of them are bad. Most of them are bad. Most of them are bad. Yeah, well, and, and like I said, kept saying on Twitter. Well, well, and first, you know, thank uh, big thanks to uh, uh, Freak Show page uh, that were, that's been posting those. That's where they've been really talking about that. Uh, and um, yeah, as I've been saying, I, there's not really any reason to go back to Philadelphia now that the ECW arena is down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's, there's, there's no reason. It's dead to me. Not, not the much best smoke thing, crack. Nope. The, the best thing about Philadelphia is it's always sunny in Philadelphia, which isn't, t- isn't taped in Philadelphia. It's taped in Hollywood. Exactly. That tells hey, you something hey, right there. There's something good in Philadelphia. The cheesesteaks. No, I don't know. About no, that. no. Too yeah. It's not, it's not worth it. Cheese steaks at Southside I can buy, I can buy steakums in the store. <laughs> I could have gotten cheesesteak from a cart today. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, I I had a Philadelphia (laughs) cheesesteak. And I had the same flavor and taste here in Pittsburgh. Hashtag, yeah. (laughs) Not that impressive. No, yeah, I saw, like, it was, um, it was, like, probably, like, three blocks away from the arena. And, um, it was, like, the Lucas, I think. I'm not impressed with it. Not at all. And I didn't didn't get to see the ones that were, like, right, like, with the neon lights and everything. I didn't have an opportunity. Like, we were there. But I didn't get one. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, well, lockdown was this past weekend. Who, first of all, who actually watched it? I think WrestleFan, you watched it there. No, I was at an indie event, sir. Did anybody watch lockdown? Nope. nope. Just you. Yes. No. Thank you, Riz. Yes. Thank you, Riz. Now, well, first of all, the experience. I uh, went in and checked out uh, lockdown in in the local movie theater. Oh, uh, very local. I thought it was the other theater. Uh, actually, what? Drove, yeah. What? How many people were in that theater? About 20. (laughs) Kind of more than I expected, but kind of wish there was more, you know? Um, (laughs) But it was interesting. Well, first of all, uh, to to really kind of line up my experience, I went in and uh, said, yeah, I want to see the TNA lockdown show. Uh, and the and the and the late and the and the young lady at the uh, concession stand, because they didn't even have the front desk open because it was Sunday night. Um, I, she gave me a ticket for Lockout. Is that it? Is that the new movie now? Lockout. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. like I ordered the drink and Oreos came like fifteen something. I'm like, well, that's weird. They must have a deal with the drink. And then went to the ticket terror and uh, he, she he's like, yeah, two two doors down this way. And I looked. I was like, this isn't right. Uh, mm-hmm. But he went, and so I can't get my free T-shirt because they gave me the wrong ticket. But I got five bucks oh. off, and my my uh, supporting TNA doesn't actually count for anything because the money went to lockout probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Uh, you so tried. so I tried giving TNA money, but lockout <laughs> took it because of the the the, the girl <laughs> at Carmike. Uh, anyways. So I, I go there and just sit there, and then they got their test thing up. Uh, and it says showtime seven thirty. It's like okay, I, I want to go in case maybe people do go to this. You know, I want to get a good spot, right? No, not really, not really. I said about twenty people were there. Um, the the pre show is really hard to sit through. Them telling us the card three times and to buy the pay per view when I already dropped fifteen bucks and I'm sitting there. And I re- don't really have anything else to do. Except yeah. for my large mm-hmm. uh, uh, Coke Zero. Um, other than that, it was interesting to see it on the screen, but the feed skipped a few times. Uh, it was a little bit through the, throughout the throughout the show, but the worst was for about five minutes, five to ten minutes in the middle of the main event. Wow. Oh, yeah, and it was a and it was a skipping. It was, it was like it was still going, and the audio was fine, 
but it was like they were skipping. You're missing punches and hits and everything like that. It's just like a, 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 you know, a juke, you know, real quick. Um, it's, like, it's like you got a stream, but on a really big TV set and you paid for it. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> and it was in HD. It looked tremendous. But then there was like that. And that's where I kind of lose, like, what the hell did I pay for? Oh, wait, I didn't. It went to lockout. But anyways. <laughs> um, but still, uh, it, it's just... I, I don't feel... The, that part of the experience killed it for me. Um, I don't feel like... like I, I really want the theater thing to work. I really wanted to want to come back for Bound for Glory when they did this again. But after that, no. And once again, TNA, I, it's not easy for me to, to give you my money for that. The show was good. Don't get me wrong. The show was good, and I thought it was fine. If I was going to pay for any of them, I thought it was a fine show. Uh, Riz, I think you have some disagreements to that from what I was seeing on, on, on Twitter or Facebook hey. that night. Uh, but, but as far as that experience goes, I, it, was, it was a great experience until they had technical problems. And again, it's like, what am I here for? And it probably flattened the main event for me. And uh, and that was it. You know, it's like, well, we're, seriously, I could just sit at home and have a similar experience. You know, um, not HD or anything, but I could see everything and that would have been fine. You know, yeah. I, I'm really trying to make a case for, for not pirating TNA. Uh, and, 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 and I and I I consider myself a supporter I, I watch the show every week with whatever commercials they put online. I whenever whenever that's possible. I I I I've gone to your live shows, guys. I have a couple TNA T-shirts. I have action figures. Uh, but TNA, it is hard for me to give you money for a pay per view. <laughs> it just it is that is a fact. It is hard for me to give you my money for a pay per view. Maybe we'll see the stream and see how that goes. But in the meantime, really not there really not there so riz what was your take on the show we'll get more of a discussion now, of that i didn't i didn't say i didn't like it halfway through you were saying you I, know these matches are blah or something yeah it, it, the first few matches like the, the lethal lockdown was okay i thought it was good i thought it was, was good it was maybe it's a lethal lockdown maybe it was the atmosphere but I, 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 I was really into lethal lockdown and then i don't know what happened but it just seemed like i missed a few matches because they were so quick. Okay. And I didn't hear, like, what was going on. Because I was doing something else. <laughs> well, uh, first of all, you're not invested invested in the whole thing. Right. But it was it didn't... Like, I did watch parts of it. It just felt like impact. In for a the case. few For the few times. Okay. Then, then it was Hardy and Angle. Hardy and Angle, for what it was worth was probably the match of the night. Easily. Easily. Easily the match of the night. And that was one of the best matches I've seen either one of those two perform. Mm -hmm. And I'm, mm -hmm. not, I'm, I'm not even saying that... And I'm in. I hate Jeff Hardy. <laughs> but saying... But those two put on one hell of a show in a cage. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the, the tag match could have gone a lot better than it did. It was an all right probably, tag match. It really was an yeah. all right tag match, though. I mean, I, I can't really discount them. Yeah, for that. I, thought it was, I thought it was fine. And the main event um, happened. I think that's that's pretty much all we can say about that. <laughs> right? Listen, I, mean, I didn't watch the pay-per-view, mm -hmm. but after the, pen, the Pens game that day, there's no way I'm watching two train wrecks. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Not doing it. But train wrecks can be fun to watch. But it was, um, but yeah, yeah. It, I mean, I, it's getting, it's getting better. It, it, getting it gets better. better. Well, no, I, and I thought it was fine. I thought it was their big show. Um, uh, like I said, the, the, the angle hardy, whatever, you know, it, it was like the match of qu people with questionable, uh, 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 you know, judgment. Pass. I think I called it. Um, and, and yeah, those guys have problems, and we kind of wish like straighten the you know straighten the f out. Because I mean, you know, didn't we just enjoy Jeff Hardy with the WWE belt on his last run in, in, in the Fed? And yeah. uh, you know, Angle. Nope. No. 
Really? With CM Punk? I thought it was pretty good. No, I thought that was pretty good, and I thought we were all behind that. (laughs) Anyways, um, once before it went crashing down. Go back and check the tapes. Check the tapes. Everybody's yelling. The thing I said to Riz, and I didn't watch the pay-per-view, I'm like, you know, they probably did put on a really good match. That doesn't mean they're not fucking assholes. No, 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 no. But you, you can put that outside. I'm sure half the wrestlers out there are assholes. But yeah, you're, but they you're, put you're on, there for a match. Yeah. match. If you're able to forget about that for a minute and enjoy it, you know, I mean, just step back for a minute. Uh, and sword. Mm-hmm. So before, before we go on, um, the segment in between with with Hogan and Flair. Yeah. Like, was it me or did Flair look lost? Yeah, it really like, seemed like Flair, and, 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 and like, this, they can't control like, Flair. I, I think I tweeted that it felt like an old Terry Funk thing, where Funk just kind of went off <laughs> on something, you know? <laughs> uh, it, it was very disastrous in the yeah. long run, because, uh, I don't know, I don't know what happened there, and what was the point of it, you know? Other than to get Hogan and Flair on the show, because Hogan was on, on some of the posters, to right. be honest. Um, although I wonder where Sting was, you know? Uh, I, I'm surprised they didn't have him anywhere on this show. Um, but the going into it, and again, you know, I saw the promos a few times there. But that promo that they had at the beginning, and um, the the uh, oh, the video package. The, yeah, the the shit ends video package. Yeah, yeah that was uh, awesome. I, that. I love that a lot. And it maybe is because of where I was, but. You know how we've been saying about the big fight feel, about the big event feel that that TNA, no matter how hard they try, they've been missing. And I thought I think we got really close to it at Bound for Glory. Obviously, they did not deliver. Um, for this one, like I got that little chill in my spine watching that promo, and I think that's the closest they've ever gotten to it, and it was great. And as as I said before the match, let's see if they deliver. Um, I don't know if I can judge because I because the match I watched was fucked up. Yeah. And uh, you can't watch that match again, you know, because it's that feeling when you watched it, you know, just like, you know, Punk and Cena, you know, in, in, in Money in the Bank, you know, it's a great match to go back and watch. But is that feeling what really is going to happen with this? Um, it didn't feel as flat. They put on a good match. They put on a great match. And as far as the ending goes, as far as Bobby Roode goes, you know, that's kind of what you expect from a Bobby Roode match for an ending. Mm-hmm. Not horrible. Uh, what are you, what's your take on it, Riz? I mean, it was a, like you said, a Bobby Roode heel match. Mm-hmm. Bobby, I don't think Bobby Roode has won clean no. since he won the belt. No. For a champion. They, for, he defended his championship at all. If he won clean or not. he I don't think he did. Mm-hmm. And that was just a Bobby Roode moment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, and I think it was fine. I, it was, it, it was a good match and I thought it was a good show overall. Of course, you know, the first yeah. thing there's a ref bump and, and there's a kind of screwy finish. Uh, the first, and I, I tweeted one of the articles earlier today, uh, automatically everybody's like, great. TNA didn't change. Great. It's another ref bump. Great. It's another, it, it's, blah, you know, thing. It's like, you know what? They're going to do this. And you're it's, starting to see though, that mm-hmm. is starting to like build. There's something going on. Mm. It wasn't for no reason, you know? No. That's what we got sick of. Stuff just happened, and you got screwed. Yeah, yeah, everything's coming together. And and I want to say, I I think the next thing you need to look to, because I I forgot about this one, because I always thought it was like Bound for Glory and Lockdown. Those are your big shows. Those are your WrestleMania and SummerSlams. But Slammiversary, they make a big deal out of, too. And I think that's another one you look to. What do they do with that? Maybe the, the Bobby Roode, James Storm thing will go till then. You know, uh, I mean, they'll do something with it. You know, they're not doing stupid crap like throwing everybody in a King of Mountain match just because. You know, they like they used will. to. I hope they don't bring well, it. Again. They haven't done it for a few years, but they kind of did that know, with the Lisa Mountain Lockdown was kind match. Of fun for a while, like it, the first few concepts. What's that? Uh, the first few concepts of King of the Mountain were pretty cool. Yeah, but yeah. uh. I mean, after a while, you do want to give it a break. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And, and and I'll be the lethal lockdown. Um, I I think I, I I think I disagree with you there because that's their. 
I mean, that is their, their that is their gimmick match. That is their war it's, games. It's war games, yeah. And they, and they have to come up with a reason for that to to exist every year. At that point, somebody has to be against somebody in some faction type form. And they they had some pretty good stakes. The interesting thing was that they put it at the beginning, but I thought that worked really well because then it didn't bog down the rest of the show when they brought that in. Yeah. Yeah, I think the placement of the lethal lockdown did help a little bit because mm-hmm. nobody came to see Garrett Bischoff. Yeah, yeah, but especially still, not Scott Stein. But, but but you came to see all the people that were in there for the most part, and they did well. They did really well. Mm-hmm. So, um, so uh, you know, that's my take on that. I, I'm still, you know, I I I, I want to see what happens with this. I I think. Uh, yeah, I, I love the bad taste in my mouth of the theater experience for the for the most part. But hey, you can go see Lockout now. I can go see Lockout. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, they're gonna think I'm theater jumping in here with the wrong with the least the cheaper ticket. But it's like, man, I should have probably jumped to the other one. I had a better t- night. Um, <laughs> but still, no, no, seriously, it, it's a pretty cool concept. Though. It's a pretty cool. It's a pretty cool concept, and and I wish it would work in the long run. Hey, but I'm pretty unhappy with it, you know. I don't know if it's TNA's fault. I don't know if anybody else experienced like these skips and uh, when they bought the pay per view. Oh yeah, that's... some theaters straight up gave people their money back. Did they? Yeah. Has this been a report? That's, that's the reports that I was reading. There was a lot of feed problems, and some some places didn't finish the show. Oh wow! Some people, so a lot of places wow. gave people their money back. Yep. Wow! Hey. Wow! That's, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, I'm seeing that now, TNA having problems with the movie theater feeds last night, so this was, like, a wide thing, and the unfortunate part is now all those people are saying, well, I'm not gonna do that again, you know, I, you know, that was a horrible experience, thanks, you know, but thanks, but no thanks, so, you know, so, and everybody's gonna go back to what they were doing before this, not watching it, or watching it and not paying for it, and that's, that's how it is, so. When you figure, you go from... WrestleMania, with WWE doing that whole buy the streaming off their website to mm-hmm. TNA doing the Which whole... we didn't have any problems with. There exactly. was no problems so with it. They delivered. Perfect. I didn't think they would, but they delivered, and I want to do it again for Extreme Rules. I'll be. Um, <laughs> so, uh, what, what day is that? Uh, like the 29th or something? It's like the last... Yeah. It's like that the, that, might, be that might be doable. That might be doable. I actually have the, the day after off, so... Wow, that's random. Um, so... You know that. I, why not? You know. So I don't know. And we'll see. Maybe, maybe for Slammiversary or something, we'll try to stream for TNA if you guys are interested. Uh, but other than that, I don't know. That's where I'm at with it right now. And, uh, but I'll, I'll get a pretty decent show, I thought. So and we'll see where that goes with TNA. Hey, so. you guys seeing what's on Bobby's stream right now? No, yeah, I. I- I don't know if this is breaking news or not, but uh, they're selling wrestling buddies on oh, WWE shop. That looks that looks weird though. Let me let me bring it up. Uh, yeah. It's like a white Barack Obama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Loyalty and taxes. <laughs> Let's see about the wrestling buddies here. I, they look really weird though. I don't know if I like the that. old ones looked weird, uh, but these look. Look at the weird. rock. The rock yeah, looks the like, like he a, looks like a the rock an looks elf. Like a big show. The rock looks like an alien. What he the looks hell like a big is this? <laughs> That's a little weird. That Nothing can beat weird. this. Nothing can beat the big show. show. I don't know. I, well, I, uh, uh, Riz, Riz, you got yours there. Let's compare. 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 Compare yeah. Hulk Hogan. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Look at that. There was a look there, and I don't know if they're trying to imitate the look. But yeah, um, it's not, it's not working at all. No, no, this does not bring me a sense of nostalgia. Not, not at all. He, they're, they have opposable thumbs. They're Look. not made for you. Oppos- okay, oh fuck! These fucks have. bullshit. They're not made for us. No, no. I'm sorry. They are made for us. They're made for that guy who has mine. this Hulk Hogan wrestle buddy that would love they're to buy exactly a new wrestle the buddy. Same. No, Look they're at not. Hogan's face. Tell me that doesn't look fucking weird. It looks more yeah. than fine. <laughs> this does have a weird face on this. Are those but the only still, two? But still, yeah, I think these are the only two. Let's see if they're like, made from the same company. Maybe it's just... I don't think they are. I That's probably the big thing. I'm sure there's some kind of patent on the way they made it or something. But these ones are more like dolls. 
Yeah, I mean, look We're at this. I mean, they got they have him like sitting there. You can't do that with the Russell buddy. Can you do that with your Russell buddy? No. No. Okay. <laughs> he, he falls back. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Unless you put him up against the wall. He was the guy that you wrestled. <laughs> yeah. We're going to do three things. Yeah. We're going to do hustle. We're going to do loyalty. And we're going to do change. Listen, listen. Let me, let me bring him back to the day here. This is how it was. Tonka. Tonka knew how to make a wrestling hey, buddy. What's going on? Nothing, Dad. Who do you think you are? Yeah, right. Buddy, one of your buddies. What's going on up there? Nothing, dear. WWF wrestling buddies. Well, you're the ultimate warrior. Tell me that shit doesn't look weird. It looks weird, but it looks. Nobody ever, ever had a DiBiase wrestling buddy. Somebody should have had a DiBiase wrestling buddy. They fucking buried things with the ET games in the desert. And as far as them bending. The dad sold a Hogan drop kick. Yes, he Hogan did. Hogan can't even do a drop kick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. On that note, I think we need to roll out of here. Um, hey, what? Is that a cut on me? What? No. <laughs> roll uh, out. Uh, roll out. Uh, <laughs> All right, guys. It's time to learn. What did you learn from wrestling that was a black this joke. week? DJ Lunchbox. <laughs> Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> you alright? Uh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, alright, we'll come back to you, Wrestle Fan. What'd you learn from wrestling this week? Bobby, do you have yours yet? Because I learned something from Bobby from wrestling this week. Huh? Bobby? What? What'd you learn from wrestling this week? What What did I learn? Don't put me in the spot again. <laughs> Nobody knows what they learned. Wheels? I knew. What did I learn? I learned. Good luck with that. Oh, that's what I learned. <laughs> Actually, oh, I good. Learned that. I just. <laughs> you just said it. That's all you did. I, I, I don't understand okay, what's going have, on. I have mine. I have mine. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I learned from Bobby F. J. Town from wrestling this week that WWE Extreme Rules is brought to you by Crossfire. <laughs> <laughs> every time. Every yeah, time yeah, it came yeah, up on the screen. Crossfire! <laughs> <laughs> nice nice awesome nice awesome. chachi yes what'd you learn from wrestling this week i learned that you guys love me oh <laughs> you really really <laughs> love me that was a just really for one time of the year chachi <laughs> hey like listen i'm gonna be the first host in history to to repeat <laughs> calling like, it next year 2012 host of the year what like, eat it like bitches it is oh wait 2011 whatever fuck you dj lunchbox <laughs> what'd you learn from wrestling i learned that uh, John Cena is to Batman as Brock Lesnar <laughs> is to Bane. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, think about that one, you fucking nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Wheels, what'd you learn from wrestling? What did I really learn from wrestling? I learned that Cena is not really super. Mm. Bobby FJ Town, what'd you learn? I learned that uh, Ludwig Borga is coming back this week. I'm nice. <laughs> so psyched. Riz, I love you... Double Double E. He was the originator of that. Yes, he oh. is. Riz, what'd you learn? First, I learned these are a thing. Yes, they're awesome. <laughs> they are awesome. They're are they the tasty. gummies? I love the gummies. Yeah, you got a bunch of those for Christmas. But from wrestling, I learned that in three weeks, Quang can upset the world. Oh, man. Oh man! Quang, Quang. Quang. Bobby learned that Quang I learned was Savio Vega. Vega. Was Quang. Yes, he did. Yes, I had he no did. idea. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Awesome, awesome. Hey, Sorg. Hey, Sorg. Hey. What did you, you learn? learn from wrestling? What I you learn learned from wrestling that I'm going to be watching old WWF toy commercials probably for the rest <laughs> of the night. <laughs> I have the hard rubber ones. Oh so man, learned, that's what she I said. I have a few of those in a bin across the room here. Uh, anyways, um, so this is your wrestling mayhem show, guys.
Hey, it's thanks like thanks to everyone for voting. Thanks, everyone, for voting. Hey, Sorgatron Media, we will be at the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We'll be at the Pittsburgh Comic Con this weekend. Uh, go DVDs, join bitches. us at Monroeville By the Convention Center. Except for Chachi. autographs. Yeah, what they said. I'm hungry. Please sign your Monroeville tits. Convention I'll sign Center. pictures of people who aren't even me. That's I'm right. hungry. That's right. Buy a and DVDs. we'll be stocking. We'll be stocking uh, Stanley all weekend. Is um, anybody dressing up? Is anybody dressing up? I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm dressing up as DJ Fucking Lunchbox. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll also be recording live. That's what I was gonna go as. We'll also be recording live at the RWA Spring Fling Four. I'll be there. Chachi cool. will be there. Cool. Over there no, in West Newton, PA. And uh, see me. And Chachi, I'll be ringside. Be Chachi, you got something going on Sunday. I do. I have to go over to the Father Ryan Art Center okay. for their spring uh, graduation type dealio. Okay. Um, I'm gonna hand them nothing because we mailed it. Yes, it's mailed. <laughs> it's in the mail. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> uh, they want me to go over and check out the operations because of the kind work that we did this year with Chachi Plays. Excellent. So I'll be. Cool. Sitting front row and trying not to fall asleep. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic, guys. It's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Twitter's at Mayhem Show. Ciao. You can drop us a line too. Good times. Good times. Good times. Good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. 412 206 WMS0. That's 9670. Uh, you can uh, check us out on Facebook on uh the google you can join us in the hangout like these guys are and actually the uh, video your video hi, looks everybody. better than when you guys are on skype we did things we do things i think too. google's getting a little better with their they videos. are maybe we'll just do just, a bunch of hangouts i would just like to point out that if you email us and you want your email read by host of the year chachi says to uh please include that in your email attention chachi yeah there you go. And if you check for thirty-five dollars, thirty-five, <laughs> thirty-five, ninety-five. He does or take PayPal. All right, guys, this is your wrestling show. Buy the app. WMS Gold on your Amazon App Store and Please iTunes. Give us app your store. money, cause I am hungry. We'll see you guys next week. It's been a great Miami's Mayhem. Out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait.